Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic New Year. So I just want to say welcome back to the channel and for this video I just want to go over a couple of projects that I've got lined up to share with you in the future and to release uh, their free patterns and recently I've been working on some Pokemon, especially after the release of the new game. I've seen them everywhere and I got very inspired. So the latest one that I made was of course Trapinch. I just could not resist. I love his colors. I love designing how I'm going to embroider him and his legs. I just really enjoyed making this guy. So I kept him as beginner friendly as possible, only using three very basic stitches. So I will be releasing the pattern tutorial here on YouTube in the next couple of weeks. And I'll also be releasing a written pattern that will be available in my Etsy shop. So if you would like to have the written pattern or to support me more directly as a creator, you'll be able to find his link when he goes live and that'll be a few weeks from now. Next I have one of my personal favourites, Aaron. I love this guy all the way back in Gen 3 when it first came out. As soon as I saw him I fell in love with him and it was only a couple of weeks ago I decided I'm going to tackle designing and making one because I, I just love his colours, I just love everything about this guy. So again, just like Trapinch I kept him as beginner friendly as I possibly could. He only uses three stitches but he works in the flat as well as the round and his details are embroidered so again I'm trying to keep everything as beginner friendly as possible so I can try and make the world a craftier place one crochet project at a time. Of course, we've got Wooper. Now, I've always been a fan of this guy. I've really enjoyed uh, making this Wooper. I enjoyed designing him and I loved colour matching him. Finding the right colours to make this guy was probably my favourite part of him. And with the release of the new games, his popularity soared again because of the Palladium variant. And I have actually started to make one. Now, I do have him fully written out and patterned but I'm saving this little stubby guy ready for the video so I can make two patterns in one video the whooper and his new variant and I'm running out of space here I've got that many so just like the other two uh, I will be releasing a written pattern for whooper and the palladian version when he's finished and that will also be available in my Etsy and in my Ravelry as well. And last but certainly not least, my personal favourite Pokemon of all time, Larvitar. Now I loved working on this guy and I'm really excited to release his pattern here on YouTube. It will be a bit more difficult, a bit more advanced than the other two because he's got more stitches involved for his tail for example and his eyes are very difficult to wrap your head around first time but as soon as you get it it's dead easy and I'll go over it as smoothly as I possibly can and that's for this little avatar but aside from that again he only uses three basic stitches slightly more advanced for the tail and working in the flat and the round and he does work up pretty good and he is my personal favourite Pokemon. I loved designing this guy. I loved patterning him. And I can't wait to make the second and third evolution from him as well. Pupitar and Tyranitar. I uh, think that one's going to be good. And again, I will be releasing his video. So he'll be a free pattern here on YouTube over the next few weeks. As well as a written version available in my Etsy store. So all Pokemon aside, let's just talk about my worry pet very quickly. So over the platforms, I've had quite a few people get in touch with me and ask if I can do another video of how to make worry pets, but do it stitch by stitch. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that video will be for complete beginners where I won't speed anything up 
and I'll make it stitch by stitch and uh, hopefully that can help some more of the beginners out there. So that was just a quick little insight into what to expect this year for 2023 and I must admit I'm really looking forward to sharing all these Pokemon patterns with you and I'm really excited to design and create more of them. I've really enjoyed making these guys over the past few weeks and uh, months. Lavatar was the first and I just realised I left one of them out. My mud kip. Now this guy is a personal favourite of mine, he's my favourite starter and I loved making him. Now I do have a pattern for him available already, same with the Larvitar, but I remade it and I've updated it so this guy will have a video and also a written pattern available in my Etsy, an updated one. So yeah, I can't, I can't believe I forgot him, I forgot my little mud kip. And all of these Pokemon only require basic knowledge of pattern reading and for the details like the eyes and the, the mouths and such and any details it's all embroidery which can also be substituted with using needle felting techniques or by using felt which would be great for Larvitar's eyes if they are a little bit too difficult and safety eyes as well I use those on this mud kit because I could so all these guys are going to be available in the next few weeks i'm really looking forward to making their tutorials and i really hope to see more of you in my videos over this year so thank you so much for watching this little update video like i said at the start i really do hope you had a fantastic christmas and a fantastic new year and happy hooking hope to see you very soon bye for now